Hello, now that we've got the data all sorted as we would like it, we're going to start to build ourselves a report. So we click on the report pane and choose the new custom visual that we chose and click on it. It'll bring us up a little open panel there to which we can add the time. We can then drag this out and we will need to change from a date hierarchy just to time. If we click on this paintbrush here, we can remove some of the detail. So we'll take the title away and we'll take the labels away. Now we can squeeze that one up a little. Next, let's have a map. So if we click on the map, visual and drag the latitude column to the latitude and longitude column to longitude and we'll add the count of our check-ins into our tooltips. We can resize this one. And now, as you can see, as we choose a different month, our map will change, or we could choose a specific week, or even just down to one day. What we also might want to do is to change the colors this can be done here clicking on cells and we'll change the selected color to a yellow or maybe we'll choose a custom color and choose a blue and have the unselected cells as our yellow and on the map we can do the same sort of thing. We can choose change our data colors, could change all of them under the default color, and we'll pick a nice blue for that as well. Next up, it'll be useful to have a count of our check-ins. So if we just tick on there, we'll get a column chart. But actually, we'd rather have card. Put our card down to here. Now we'd like to be able to slice our data. We can slice our data in two ways. One way is by clicking this slicer uh, visualization and populating it with city. As you can see, if we just picked Amsterdam, it'll go to all the places I've checked in in Amsterdam or maybe in London around Paddington. And we'll choose another slicer for our country, but we'll choose the country code and drag this one over here. pick up all the places I checked in in Ireland. So let's get some data about our check-in. Maybe what we'd like to know is the venue name and the comment we used and the time when we checked in. If we click those you can see that it has put our time in a hierarchy again so we can change that over here just go back to time and we'll get a nice time column this now means that what we can do is order these by time 
4.39. But this data will change as we pick our, use our slicer to pick the, the data. You see all of these are the places in Singapore. So let's add some more data to here. Let's have a bar chart and we will add in the country and the count of check-ins. Obviously right now that's just sitting on Singapore because we've got our filter, our slicer checked. But we can move that one over to here and resize our map so that it fits a little better. And again, we can change any details about our uh, visualization in here. So we'll change the data colors again to our blue. And lastly, a count of check-ins by city. So we'll add our city and a count of check-ins and change this to a column chart. So you see there are a number of different ways of changing your visualization. You can choose the data or you can choose a visualization. Just make it fit as you see best. And once we've got this all organized as we wish, you now have yourself a report which you can filter in a number of different ways. You see it'll all just keep changing as you click around in the graph. this and all changes. If we want to add another page, this little button down at the bottom to add a new page, and now maybe we could provide some different information. So if we chose our venue name and our comment and the time again change the time to not to be a hierarchy and put that to this side of our report and now maybe we wish to choose our categories choose our categories with a count of check-ins and maybe put those as a column chart So we could do is pick all of our airports, maybe all of our buildings, or perhaps the burger joints. I only apparently been to one burger joint. The hotels. And we could easily add further information by picking up our count of check-ins and choosing it to be a bar chart. So we can see the number of airports and it alters per country. We could make this data expand a little more. Maybe we'll add a pie chart with the cities and the count of our check-ins. And perhaps remove our title from that. And a donut chart with our states and the count of check-ins.
and now we're ending up with some data that we can really show some visualizations as to what is happening as you can see it all changes as we go along.